Magandang araw sa inyo mga chillinario and in this video, I'll share with you this one simple habit that I developed through the years and how can this help you succeed in business and of course, make more money. Let's go! Hey guys, magandang magandang araw sa inyo and again, this is John Ranya from the Gosyo University and today I'll share with you guys a simple habit that I developed through the years, maybe in the last, I don't know, five years or even more that I've been doing this one simple habit and that is journaling. So kanina, pinakita ko sa inyo yung mga notebooks, uh, things that I wrote through the years. Okay, and uh, I'll share with you guys the power of this simple thing because Right now, we are in a generation na talaga pong we are bombarded with information, na notifications, these beep sounds, and all those things na if you are in that kind of environment, which I assuming most of us in that kind of environment with a technology-driven environment, instead of proactively doing something, we react on things, right? You say someone is calling you, what are you gonna do, right? Y your brain cannot help but like pick up the phone and answer and you don't even know if that call is <laughs> is important or someone message you in messenger right bigang na lang mo pop up siya and you're in the middle of something or in a meeting or something and um, because of that you know na interrupt na naman yung thinking mo and your thought pattern mo and uh, of course uh, sa TV sa radio sa news and it's like everyone are trying to get your attention and uh, that is the power of journaling and i really believe that the simple habit will help you have more sense of direction and control on what is happening around you. Ibig sabihin, ayaw mo yung nabubuhay ka na parang uh, dinadala ka na lang ng alon ng buhay. And if you think about it, that is re the reason why only a small percentage or a small percent lang rather ng population uh, became successful uh, because of, of those things. Just simply watching TV and countless of videos online, these kind of uh, things yeah, hypnotizes people. And uh, somehow yun nga nagiging reactive sila instead of like thinking accurately and sharply. And today, I'll share with you guys one of some of the things that I write on my notebook. And so the first thing that I do every morning is I wake, me, uh, wake myself up. One of the things that I added in my uh, regular routine is take a, a cold shower. That is right, like cold shower <laughs> every morning. Para gising ka na agad and then get a cup, uh, prepare a cup of coffee, brew a new coffee, and start with my journal. And I'll share with you guys some of the things that I, I'm writing in my journal and why this is very, very important. So number one, we journal. If you're just starting, uh, the best place is to start writing your, uh, your journey. I simply write down the date and time where I'm writing. Initially, it will be just like whatever comes to your mind. Your task is really just be comfortable with writing. By the way, if it's a journal, you just keep it to yourself. Don't let anyone read your journal. There will be like private information that you just want to share as if you're like writing to yourself. Okay, again, this is just warm up. Writing, yeah, the first thing that you, you remember. Now, uh, another thing that I do with journal is writing your goals. There are a lot of training or rather uh, a lot of books that teaches you goal setting and all and the reason is very, uh, very, very important. One of which is it has to be specific. Second is has to be achievable. So I write my goal, whether it's my long-term goal and then a short-term goal could be one year, could be uh, six months, could be one month or say my, my simple goal for this week. So I just write it down in here. And uh, that's one thing that if you will start like really write a meaningful meaningful goal, you will start to feel the power of journaling. And you will like get addicted to it. Parang, you know, uh, if you miss one day, one day you kind of like miss writing. So even po nung nagbakasyon kami, uh, I was, we were in the ship, DC Cruz uh, going to Miami and going to Bahamas. I still write my goal. I wake up early morning, I write in my, uh, I, I write rather in my journal. One thing also that helped me in my journaling is through my business. Of course, uh, through journal, it helps you think. So uh, during the journaling, my kids are still asleep. I turn off my cell phone or at least put it in the airplane mode or uh, do not disturb mode. And um, what I do is write some strategy in my business. So what is the current status of my business? I write it down and this helped me think better on how can I market and sell. 
this also through this notebook or through through this simple habit it helps me create a new projects that i really believe will be helpful for my customers uh, new um, project ideas that will uh, give my business additional revenue revenue and profit and at the same time uh, through the journaling dito ko rin nakita at pag-aaralan what are the things that didn't work for me because hindi naman everything that you do will magiging successful but if you if you will pause and think maybe you can think better because you don't want to just think for the purpose of thinking right there has to be a benefit there has to be a reason what you're thinking and one of which is for me is analyzing let's just say meron akong project isang program it didn't work out stop and pause and think what mistakes that i made what are the things that i should have done what are the things that i should have not done and uh, that helped me again to be become a better entrepreneur. Another thing that I do with journaling is I write a lessons that I learned uh, in business, in, in life, in general. So this is basically a combination of my professional life and my, my personal life. So for example, even if a simple, uh, let's just say yesterday, for example, uh, that I get upset on something. So I write down, I pause, why did I get upset? What is the problem? Is it my fault? Is it someone else's fault? Or am I overreacting? Or maybe you simply realize that I should not be upset or disappointed into something. So again, these are some of the things I don't really believe that there, ha there has to be like a formal way of journaling. I really believe that each one will be different. But for me, just simply be able to record things that are happening in my life, lessons that I learned, I can simply go back. So for example, this was in December of uh, 2018. I just write something about this coming, the coming year, my goal, my strategy and it also helps you see the progress of your life like through the years for example in my business because you can see your goals and then marirealize mo rin dyan yung mga things that you have already accomplished and because of that and the last thing that's most important I would say when journaling is you write down what are you thankful for. I know there are things in life that you want to improve, you want to change. Maybe hindi mo pa na-accomplish yung mga goals mo in life. Maybe marami ka pang pangarap sa buhay na hindi pa nararating. But I really believe, my friend, that whatever your current situation, there are things that you can still be grateful for, right? The fact that you can watch this, that means you have the technology in your hands. The fact that you can hear me and watch me, that means you still have those senses na marami ang mga tao na wala na. But still, here you are, you can be able to, to do that. And these are simple things that you want to be thankful for. And I really believe that if you are grateful, you cannot be fearful. It's hard na magalit ka if you're really, really grateful. Because one of those things na emotions that consumes people are anger and confusion and and all those things na negative rather emotions. By being grateful and thankful and really hindi lang parang lip service but really mean it that you are thankful for many things in your life i really believe that it will give you a better perspective in life more respectful you'll be more honest you'll be more sincere you'll be more grateful in every single day that you all live on this planet so i hope that you guys uh, get started with this just get a simple notebook for now and then wake up even just 15 minutes early and start journaling and start writing so i hope this simple tip will help you guys and I'm gonna talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Wait, before you go, do not forget to click that red subscribe button below. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.